Hey, Daddy, you want to pay four grand a month for the best girlfriend ever? <laughs> What is up, sapiosexuals? Thank you for turning on Sex in South Beach with your girl, Dr. Sanjaya, America's sex educator who addresses every sexual issue under the sun, especially the ones you wouldn't dare talk about with your partner. <laughs> Seriously, though, y'all know the whole point of this show is to stimulate fun sexual thoughts and conversations that you could not have anywhere else, which is why we address all those hard-to-discuss issues. Yeah, like, um, should you get a divorce because your man is paying a much younger woman to, uh, be his girlfriend? Or should you get into the business of being paid to be someone's girlfriend? Because, uh, let's face it, Relationships are not easy, and shoot, some of us would put a lot more effort into them if we were getting paid. <laughs> or maybe you got a lot of dough, and you're like, hmm, my boo just don't act right. What if I paid someone? Would they act right? Oh, yeah. Facts, people. Facts. Because real people got real sex issues, and those are some real things that are going down. And remember, we are all about equality, so it is not all about sugar daddies in the sugar business. Mm -mm -mm. There are a whole lot of sugar mamas out there, too. And by now, you already know the sex situation we are getting into today is all about sex with a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. And we are going to learn the ins and outs of the sugar bowl. Yes, people, that is exactly what the sugar daddy lifestyle is called. The Sugar Bowl, a sweet and expensive game. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the proper term for this lifestyle is sugar dating or sugaring. It is a transactional dating practice typically characterized by an older, wealthier person and a younger person in need of financial assistance in a mutually beneficial relationship. The person receiving the gifts or the money is called a sugar baby. And the person giving up the goods is called a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. Well, I mean, that depends on what giving up the goods means. If it means uh, giving up the goods, maybe that could also be the sugar baby. But you understand what I'm saying. The person with the money is called the sugar daddy or the sugar mama. And the person getting the money is the sugar baby. Mm-hmm. And the website, SeekingArrangement.com, well, data from this website indicates that the average sugar daddy is 38 years old and makes about $250,000 annually. And when it comes to being a sugar baby, well, college students are doing the most. Yes. Now, that same website that we just talked about, SeekingArrangement.com, their data indicates that college students make up to 42% of their membership. And they now have over 1.4 million college students on their website. Dang! I know tuition is expensive. And you know what? When I learned how many students are involved in the Sugar Bowl, it definitely made me think back to my college days. All those pretty girls I went to school with, they had the nicest clothes, the fanciest bags. And you know, little 18-year-old me, well, I was naive. I just thought, well, you know, they probably come from a rich family. In hindsight, I bet you some of them, what? They were sugar babies. Mm hmm And you know why the U.S. government needs to let students go to college for free? Because 36% of sugar babies are using the money to pay their tuition, okay? And 23% are using the money to pay for rent. College is too damn much. And I know it's true. Because you know what some of my medical students tell me? They tell me they go on Tinder dates just to get some dinner. And I'm like, dang, call me up. I'm going to make you some, boo. I feel bad, okay? I am telling you the college lifestyle is just too damn expensive when you got to be a sugar baby to get through it. And another thing, America, we have got to pay our teachers more. Because you know who's right behind the college students on the sugar bowl? Mm-hmm. 
You guessed it, teachers. Yes, data from the same website, seekingarrangement.com, indicates over 10,000 teachers are on their website being sugar babies to supplement their income. Yes, they need a daddy who can help them make ends meet. We have got to definitely, totally overhaul our educational system, America. It's causing a damn sugar rush out there. <laughs> so funny and not funny at the same time, okay? <laughs> so, what's the difference between being a sex worker and a sugar baby? Well, whereas a sex worker is paid to have sex, according to SeekingArrangement.com and other websites catering to uh, the sugar lifestyle, Sugar dating is just there to match up compatible people. And what happens once they meet up? Well, that's up to them. They're two consenting adults, right? And according to many Sugar Bowl participants, nope, you don't have to have sex, actually. But the power dynamic makes it very difficult to say no because you want your sugar daddy to keep giving you money, so you want to please them. And you know that if you don't make your sugar daddy happy, well, they can easily replace you with another sugar baby. And boom, just like that, your financial flow is over, baby. Mm -hmm. And sugar dating is not just for straight people. There are plenty of gay people or pansexual people and bisexual people and all kinds of sexual people on the sugar bowl, okay? Understood? Good. <laughs> Another big difference between sex work and sugar dating is that sex work is limited to sexual activities, but sugar dating often involves dates. Yes, many sugar daddies and mamas want their baby to hold their hands, go out to dinner, have flirty and fun conversations, and while that can also happen in sex work, it's much more common for a sugar relationship to have, um, some public outings and activities together and to function more like a boyfriend-girlfriend rather than just like a secret sex relationship, which is what characterizes most sex worker transactions, right? Now, one sugar baby describes the difference between her job and a sex worker as, it's like comparing Gucci to Walmart. I like Gucci. Hmm, fancy fancy, isn't she? <laughs> so, exactly how much do sugar babies make? Well, like everything in life, it definitely depends. But according to Seeking Arrangements data, sugar babies make on average about $2,800 per month from their dates, which comes out to about $33,600 annually. Dang, that is quite a bump, especially for someone who just needs a couple more thousand bucks to make ends meet. And some sugar babies claim they just go out for a steak and lobster dinner for a couple of hours after they put their kids to bed, and then they come home with a stack of bills to pay the bills. Oh, yeah, that doesn't sound too rough, right? But just like all relationships, it is important to remember in sugar dating that every relationship is different. And sexual fetishes are especially popular among sugar daddies. Yes, lots of these daddies have a very special way of becoming sexually aroused, one that is a little more acceptable when it comes attached to a grand, right? <laughs> and if you aren't really sure what a fetish is, please do yourself a favor and check out the show, America's Top Fetishes. I did the episode a while back, but if you scroll your scrumptious fingers through the previously released podcast, I know you're going to come across it, and it is a fun one. There is nothing like learning if your fetish or the fetish of your partner is one of the more common ones, right? And if you are considering getting into the sugar game, you definitely want to brush up on your fetishes and give that show a listen. Mm -hmm. Another thing about the sugar bowl, don't catch feelings. Uh -uh -uh. Just because you're going on a lot of dates to nice places with someone who treats you nice, many sugar babies and daddies have caught feelings, and guess what? They ended up hurt. Yes, they did. When it comes to the sugar bowl, nothing ends a relationship quicker than feelings. It may not be sex work, but remember, it is still a transactional relationship. Somebody gets paid to show up and act right. And while many sugar babies say they've met fun, attractive people, most will also admit that they have spent some time with some very, uh, not attractive people. People who may have had bad hygiene or weird fetishes or were just too damn old and boring. And though data is really limited on the real ages of the sugar babies, that website, 
SeekingArrangement.com estimates that sugar babies on average are about 25 years old. That's the same website that said that the average sugar daddy is 38 years old. But remember, there's also some very, very old sugar daddies and mamas and some very, very young babies who may be lying about their age just to get on the website. Oh, yes. Also, for safety, there are some standard sugar baby rules that should always be followed. One, you want to try to get the real name of the daddy or mama so you can look them up to verify that they weren't just released from prison for murder. And you might also want to confirm that they're actually rich and not a fake-ass Splenda. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Two, do not give a daddy or a mama your home address. Duh. Three, do not get emotionally attached. It is a transactional relationship. Four, always tell someone where you are and who you're with. And you know what? That is just a good idea with all new dating relationships, not just the sugaring kind. And five, condoms, condoms, condoms. Need I say more? All right, all right, y'all. You know what time it is. It is time for the climax when I give you five special points to remember about sex with a sugar daddy. One, sugar dating, also called sugaring, is a completely transactional dating practice, typically characterized by an older, wealthier person and a younger person in need of financial assistance in a mutually beneficial relationship. Two, students and teachers are stars of the sugar bowl. America, if we fixed our educational system, would this be the case? Hmm, do you really want your child's kindergarten teacher out there at night? Hmm, we got to fix the education system, America, okay? <laughs> Three, sugaring does not always involve sex. Sometimes it can just be a cuddle. But watch out for those fetishes and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Four, don't catch feelings. Transaction, remember? It's a transaction. And five, safety practices must always be followed. That means no, don't swallow, and definitely don't bear back with your sugar boo. Mm-mm-mm, bad idea. Mm-mm. Now, you know what? I would be so grateful if you took two seconds to leave a super quick review for this show. The more reviews, the more listeners, the more sexually educated people on the planet. And you know what's sexy? People like you who like to learn about sex. Ooh, for your daily dose of nookie knowledge, check me out on all the social media platforms. That's Dr. Sanjaya, D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And yes, I have finally made it to TikTok. Talk, y'all. So come on and level up your nookie knowledge with me. I had so much fun chatting you up about sex with a sugar daddy, and I cannot wait to do it again next time. I am Dr. Sanjaya, America's sex educator. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sex in South Beach, where everyone comes for happier, healthier sex. OMG, the craziest thing happened. Last week, I dropped my son off at school, right? One of the other moms runs up to me to say that she bought some Sense Aromatherapy body oil. And when she went to pick her kid up from school that afternoon, his teacher asked her out. She said she was mortified. She just wanted to try it to see if it repelled mosquitoes. Now she's scared to wear scents around people unless she wants to date them. <laughs> Smell good, feel good with Sense Aromatherapy Body Oil. Get yours today on Amazon or at sensebodyoil.com. That's S-E-N-S-E, bodyoil.com.